Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Tune Review, uh, this uh, early afternoon edition of the Transfer Show. Uh, as we promised, we'd keep you up to date with everything that uh, we know or we think might be going on, etc. And uh, today is the first of probably many uh, that we go live during the day as well as on an evening as well. Um, so if you're at work or you're just on a break or whatever, uh, one o'clock seems to be a decent time. And certainly for the guys in Australia, it is as well. Uh, as Shane says there, uh, half past 10, sure. Get in there. Interested to see who Alex has on his list. Uh, we'll find out. Uh, good afternoon, Trolls. Good afternoon, Spider. Ginger Geordie's in the house. Uh, just saw the time, um, that the Times have stated we've put a £50 million bid in for Paqueta. Uh, that seems to be picking up a little bit of pace. Uh, Majestic, good afternoon. Anthony, good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, Tune Review family. Hope we're all well. Um, someone on another stream said it was rumoured that medicals have been set up for this week and next. Be interesting if that's true. Don't believe a word of medicals yet. We'll, we'll wait and see what happens on that. Uh, medicals are very... Um, yeah, They're routinely in scheduled in any way. Week they by are, week, yeah. Based on the transfer windows are open. They were January. Yeah, so. yeah. So it's just, it's just the same guy. So you know, as far as we're concerned, you know, the fact of the matter is that um, you know medicals will be booked, uh, but they have to book some slots in anyway, just so that if they do bring anybody in, uh, they can get them uh, straight in. Basically, uh, Ross, uh, it's starting or not? Yes, it's starting. We're here. Uh, Neil says afternoon. All looking forward to this. Brian says good afternoon, Paul and Alex. I'm hoping to hear about a few players that you haven't mentioned before. I definitely think we need another centre back, right winger. Uh, a central attacking midfielder and two strikers. Uh, if Tarkovsky is announced, I'll be very disappointed, says Trolls. Um, Jordy Bill says, afternoon all in the chat. Um, Christian, uh, I hear I, I hear that Villa have offered him 120k a week. Yeah, that, that was a few days ago. Uh, afternoon, Jordy Bill. Darren says, let's show Man City what uh, uh, Samba football next season. Um Louis, good afternoon, guys. Watching this show from my bed. Well, uh, yeah, I can't believe you're still in there, but never mind. Uh, good on you, to be honest, if, you, if you've managed to sleep in this long. Uh, transfer talk at the crack of dawn. Morning all, 5 a.m. here, says William. Uh, good afternoon, Jim. Uh, thoughts on Jack Harrison, guys? Um, is he on our list today, Jack Harrison? He's actually not. Um, I can pop him on the honourable mentions. It depends how quickly we get through things. Um, cool. Because I've tried to balance it out with defenders, young players, players we've not talked about. Um, yeah, absolutely. But we, yeah, I can. We'll see. Cool. Uh, and by the way, if anyone wants to know, I've uh, you know adjusted my settings on my camera after going through YouTube many times, so it doesn't look like I've uh, actually sat in the sun for three hours. Uh, I have my normal skin tone back at last. Um, Toon Dave says, afternoon, lads. Great time. Just grabbing some lunch. How are the lads? And looking forward to this. Uh, Shane says, would Alex mind looking at Serdar Asmoon, uh, former Zenit striker, now at Leverkusen, uh, but not getting much minutes? He's so on the list. On for, for, uh, he's on the list. There you go. Uh, Barbara, hi, Paul and Alex. Glad you're back. Love the show. Thank you very much. Uh, Dominic, good afternoon. Afternoon, Gary. Afternoon, Brian. Um, need to know if that's true. Good afternoon, fellas. Uh, is anything happening with Dan Ashworth? Uh, yes. Uh, is the answer to that. Uh, keep your eyes peeled for something coming out on that very soon. Um, hi, lads. Looking forward to the show. Kath, good afternoon to you. Um, may as well get straight into it. Alex, who's on the list? Who's first? Uh, so we are going to start off. Uh, where is he? With a funny name. So this has popped up uh, on a couple of places. 
Uh, I don't know how how much truth there is in this at all, uh, but I'm going to entertain it because it's um, from the same team as Ekiteke or Ekiteki, as we say. Ekiteki, um, how are you? Doing? Yeah. Uh, so... Would you like to pronounce that name for me, Alex? Because if I try and say that, uh, I'm looking at it as a wow, 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 face, wow. It looks too much like feces. The so last So Google Translate says it's pronounced um, "woot fast," not "what face." <laughs> Wood fast. Um, uh, just before you go into that, uh, Zishan has sent a seventeen ninety nine super chat in. Uh, thanks very much, Zishan. Uh, hi guys, love Target, but I think we should go for Lodi. Uh, remember, Eddie Howe has spent time in Atletico Madrid and has some insight. Uh, yep, he does. Go on, Alex. Uh, it's a funny shout, but he's not. Um a super, super highly rated centre-back. He is from, from Rem, not to be confused with Stad Rene, who are the ones who finished like third-ish. Yeah. Um, so these are further down the table. They had a good season defensively. He's been part of that. Uh, Ekitike is obviously their striker. Um, doesn't set the world alight, but he's 24 years old. Played a lot of minutes this season. 3,300 minutes is a lot. Um, so he's been rather integral. Uh, they've mostly have played a back five recently, although they can, they can play different. So he is a right side center back. Yeah. He, he fits the bill of trying to change the aging squad. So center back wise, you know, I think Lascelles is, is the only one under 30 at the moment. So we have an aging back line. We, we really do need some younger center backs and we, they yeah. can't all be worldies. Um, so the reason he's on the list, a couple of people have linked him to us and supposedly Jean-Pierre, uh, Kat Kailot, the, the president, has come out and said he's free to leave for 10 million this summer uh, as pounds. Um, he's been in four team of the weeks in France this season, 11 clean sheets, mm -hmm. reasonably tidy. Um, stat wise, not incredible. He's reasonable. He reminds me a little bit of Ben White in terms of how this is spiked, but Ben White is not in his statistical matches. He's got some good company on there. Diego Carlos is on his, his eighth for statistical similarities. Uh, Smalling and Conser. Um, I had a little a little bit of a deeper look. Pass, pass completion is is reasonable. Attempts thirty eight um, per ninety, which seems very low. But when you remember our, that our poorer centre backs are in the bottom two percentile, this is an improvement. Going from thirty Definitely. to closer to forty passes is is a lot more. Ten passes is a big difference. Um, and when we How actually twenty four, so he's. Uh, he's a good age, not too bad. Six foot two, as well. In terms of his previous clubs, uh, he's done. He's gone through the sort of Belgium Netherlands route and then settled in France in Ligue 1. So he's always played a lot of minutes. He's been in and around mid-table sides, on the fence whether he would be able to take a step up in the Premier League and a team that's going to try and progress as a project. But he's still only 24. Um, I mean, if we actually go into his detailed stats. There's some reasonably nice things in here. If we go down to his passing, his medium pass completion rate is at 95% and his yeah. short is at 92. So it's not too bad. It isn't too bad at all for, for what we would need from him. It is a lot better than what the cells is outputting. Um, so, yeah. It's funny because uh, there's another guy... Um... I think your mic's gone off again. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, yeah. William says uh, Colacini 2.0 uh, yeah, with that hairstyle. That. Yeah, not too bad. Um, good afternoon, Susan. Uh, modern backstage. Uh, the Ginger Geordie says, uh, would anyone say Strakoska from Ostrakoja from Lazio is an upgrade on Dubravka? Mm, uh, goalkeeper show. Yeah, look, it, it, he's it's... On there. Yeah, but it's 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 Henderson at the minute. I mean, you know, look, Wout may well be in the reckoning, but so far, um, we'll have to see on that one. Uh, oh, hi, Paul. You look proper HD, but Alex looks like I've got a blurry right eye. Yeah, it, 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 Alex will get sorted when he's back in the UK. Don't worry. Um, you know, it's just one of those I, things. I've out got really in good Poland. internet. I don't know why it does that. I'm not sure. It's very strange, but it's obviously got, coming from a long way, Alex. You're coming from a long way, mate. Um, if I was playing in a team who said we are signing Neymar, I would be over the moon and I would understand why I got paid a lot less, to be honest. Uh, just a quick word on John Joe Shelby, um, Alex, because uh, 
I've put something out this morning on social media that it, maybe he has played his last game because uh, it turns it, it seems like um, Eddie Howe has told him uh, that he won't be guaranteed first team place next season and uh, Shelby wants first team football. So does that mean we see the end of him? Has he said he wanted first team football? Or yeah, yeah. Interesting. I mean, I, th- I thought that was nailed on. To be fair, I thought that was the assumption anyway. Uh, because we were looking to recruit even more in midfield. Mm. And with Joe Linton and Bruno being being what they are and doing what they're doing, I, I thought that was a given. Um, I would like him to stay on as a rotation understudy DM. Um, he would still get lots of minutes, I would imagine. Yeah. Um, if he does want to go, fair enough. He is too good. Well, his, his sort of reimagined self as of late is too good to be on the bench and not playing ever. He is too good. He needs to play football. Um, I agree. Um, so, but I think I think the way Newcastle United are going around at the minute, it's it's basically looking at, um, you know, we are now looking at exceptional quality. Uh, I think and, the long staff contract that means that they, than... they've got to somewhat honour that because there, there was a concern about minutes. Yeah. So that well, Malcolm might... McDonald was on with Steve on Steve's channel this this morning, which was very interesting. What he said uh, about the 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 the, um, the contract of Longstaff and how he doesn't think that Longstaff enjoys playing with John Joe Shelby. Uh, he seems to have a lot more freedom when he's with Joe Linton and Bruno. Uh, and I thought that was very interesting because you know he seems to have stood out when he's been with Joe Linton and Bruno rather than when Shelby's been in the team. Yeah, I mean, if you look back to his best performances for us, uh, it was in a double pivot with Hayden. So he, yeah. he's never performed well with Shelby, as from what I can remember. There's probably exceptions to that, but from what I remember, it was when when Hayden they would rotate because there there was a time when Hayden would be a bit more box to box on occasion and would spring up mm-hmm. at the edge of the box. He scored a few that way, uh, yeah. and when they were fit and they were structured and we had a good plan under Rafa. Um, they would rotate between attack and shielding. They were they were getting at people. You know, we we got famous results against City and other top teams where they were really yeah, difficult absolutely. to play against as a pair. Um, so no, I yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Um, it does. Shel- Shelby is a very specific player with a very strange attribute play profile. He does play in a very unique way. It's yeah. it's. The way I could describe it is like a really finicky, like spin bowler in 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 cricket. Like he's got a very niche way that he plays football. And if mm. the, if if you're playing in a system oriented team, mm, it's a funny one. Yeah. It's like a snodgrass kind of oh. deal. Uh, Tune, Dave. Thanks for your six pound ten super chat, my friend. Thank you very much. Uh, roll on the summer and getting some confirmed signings. E I E I E I O with the Premier League we go. Uh, looking forward to sticking it to the top six. Um, Dave says uh, hi lads. I hope we can sign. Uh, I ate a tea cake. Ha <laughs> ha! Very funny. Uh, Eki Teki uh, does sound like I ate a tea cake, so I'll go with that one. Uh, him and a fit Wilson would terrorize defenses like Shearer and Ferdinand. Um, Possibly. Uh, Darren says, if Neymar came in the free transfer and PSG covers 60% of his wages, I don't mind having him. Uh, George says, Shelby will be here next season. Uh, Dream Strike is signing for next season. Uh, quite a few. Uh, I'd love us to get Dan, Dan Juma, uh, but he plays left wing, so can't see it happening. Um, hi, Paul and Alex. Uh, loving the afternoon show. Very informative as always. Uh, why are people on about Neymar, says V? Uh, reality check required. You just never know, do you, V? You don't know. Uh, the interview earlier this year said he wants to be part of it in any capacity, if I remember correctly. Uh, that, that's he did what say I that, thought, yeah. to be fair. I remember that interview. Yeah, again, Scanser, I don't think that's true about Shelby. He said he wanted to be part of the transformation. Look, time will tell. Uh, if he's not going to get very much football, you know, at his stage of his career, does he Does he have to think about maybe moving on? Uh, Motley says, great to see you guys live for once. Newcastle fan in China. Uh, I'm eight hours ahead. Usually watch the following morning at work. Uh, well, welcome to the show, my friend. Um, God, these comments keep skipping on stream. I need to sort this out again. Uh, can't believe we've gone from Ashley and Chowdhury to PIF and Neymar. Uh, hi, Tune family. Hope everyone is doing well. Looking forward to next season. Uh, how much do you think we would get for Shelby? Oof. I'm not sure, to be honest. Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe. Maybe. I would say. 
Yeah. Right. Who's next on the list? So this is the player I hinted at yesterday um, in the review stream. So this Sulemane is the young man. Isaac Toure. So Isaac Toure is how he goes by, um, but Suleimani right. as well. Um, yeah. Six foot seven, 19 year old young centre back plays in Ligue 2. So we do not have an FB ref statistical profile for him because he does not play in the big five leagues. Um, but he is an option. Unfortunately, since yesterday, there, there is a rumour that he's, he's come out and um, expressed the desire to remain in France. So that has changed. Um, but it doesn't say who said that. Him, an agent, a source, a paper. There are people just saying there is a desire for him to stay in France. So mm, I, I don't know about that. Uh, we've been, for some reason, the, the, the number that's been quoted to us is 9 million euros. Uh, Leon Marseille and several Bundesliga clubs are interested in him for around 5 million euros. And that's from Foot Mercato. So um, obviously Leon, Leon looking at defenders is good because that means they're expecting departures. So hello, uh, yeah. Leon defenders. Um, 12 starts, not that many. Uh, a very, very raw player. Um, mishmash of, uh, of ratings across the season. Um not played a lot of football. It's one of those players that possibly he's being looked at for his attributes, his technical skills. This is this is something that you can't really know unless you've gone and scouted and watched five, six, seven matches, done your own notes, because there's not really enough out there uh, in terms of televised things or just stats available online. It's very difficult to make a decision. It's interesting. Um not as polished as I'd like statistically that we've got recorded in terms of aerial duels. One, he's winning, winning 68% of them at 1.5 at six foot seven. You should be beating everybody. Realistically. I'd like that to be a bit higher than that. Um, very, very raw Four yellow cards. Yellow cards aren't really important, but passing accurate passes per game at, at 30. Not, not too bad. Not too mm-hmm. bad. Marginally better than some of our lads. I mean, there's a difference between attempts, passes and, and passes completed. This is the completed stat. So yeah. uh, accurate per game. That is quite good. Um, very difficult to give any sort of opinion on this. It's interesting. Um, possibly he's not interested in a move. Nine million euros. We do need to bring in cover. We, we, we will have a long list of defenders. And that's what I wanted to do today is have a look beyond some of our names that we've we've talked to death so um this is yeah. why Wood, Wood, Woodfass and and Torre are on the list because they they've they're on they've been rumored um mm. so one for the future maybe not he's not played a lot of high standard football he doesn't look like he's excelled at this level either um yeah so i i would really want to be going this feels like a bit more of a bournemouth signing in terms of scouting people that could be whereas when we're looking at youth i would rather go for people who who are absolutely in the same way that elliot anderson has battered league two yeah. i want to be picking yeah. if i'm if we're picking up youngsters from different divisions of poorer quality i would rather they were controlling that division and being very very competent in it and he doesn't look like he's taken much control. Considering he's six foot seven, it doesn't look like he's taken much control of it. Again, he's not started that much. Uh, I mean, was he injured? He was not really. He's not really been injured, so can't really use that as an excuse either. Yeah, um, it's an interesting so, one. Uh, certainly, you know, like you say, it's interesting to see uh, a few extra players behind. Uh, the usual that we've we, we've certainly talked to death, uh, i.e. Uh, Botman and and, and Carlos. Um, Eight ninety nine yeah. super chat from Osiris. Thank you very much. Uh, he says joining from work today. Uh, thanks for all the great content you and the team are putting out. Very excited for the window. How are the lads? Um, greetings from Norway. Says uh, Roy Morton. Uh, Seattle Geordie's in the house. Must be early there. Uh, Dunk says, uh, afternoon, Paul and Stato and everyone in the chat. Hope you're well. Great show last night as per for the end of the season review. Great banter. I've been smiling all day as a result. Ha. Uh, brilliant. Thank you very much. Magpie says, thank you, Tune Review, for keeping us updated uh, on sensible transfer rumours. Uh, thank you very much. Um, forget about ne- Neymar, says uh, Justino. Uh, he's too high maintenance. I agree. I, I, I think that's a load of crap, mate. I, I, I don't... I don't see anything in that at all. 
Um, I'd be amazed if it did happen. Uh, Abin says, uh, is a bid for Paqueta looking likely? Um, I'd say as we stand, yes, it's looking likely. Um, the the Certainly the media reports that I've heard are ramping this up a little bit more now. Uh, now, whether they're just jumping on the bandwagon because he was in Newcastle, etc., um, I don't know. It does seem to be gaining a little bit of pace. Um, but again, if anything happens with that, we'll, we, we will bring it to you so, as soon as we can. But at the minute, uh, no official bid has gone in. Uh, there is talk of a £50 million bid going into Leon very soon. But again, we'll just have to wait and see uh, and yeah. see how true that the is. The Times have said readying a bid. That's, yeah. the, that's we, the wording, readying a bid. Nothing has gone in. Readying, uh, which... Is, is a possibility. Uh, Rich, the Chevy Mag Price is loving the show. Great content. Uh, really good to see who you can go after in the transfer market. Thank you, mate. Uh, what position do you think is the main priority? I'd say defensive midfielder or striker. Um, I'm not sure where they're looking at, Alex, as to where the main priority is. I think that, that just improving the squad is the main priority. I mean, it's it's really tough. Um, it... <sighs> I don't think we can say that. I think we've got to prioritise two or three positions equally because we're so poor in our depth. Um, mm-hmm. One injury to Wilson, we've got no striker. One injury to Cheryl Byrne, we don't have a competent understudy to play the way we play. Like, injury to Bruno, we're losing so much of what we're about. Um, yeah. It just doesn't... Um, I don't think we can prioritise one position necessarily because we can't guarantee what what's going to go wrong Maybe nothing will go wrong, but maybe something will. We just can't know. Um, maybe Callum Wilson stays fit for 38 matches and we lose burn for 30. You, you never know. Um, so I feel like we've just got to be sensible and prioritise where we've got the weaknesses. Like Things like right back can chill for now. We've got, we do have areas that aren't too bad. Um, we, just, we need to buy what we've got no cover for, which is like centre-back, Bruno replacements and... Um, and striker. So they need to be given equal attention, I feel, because we've just got no depth. Yeah. Uh, Roy's in the house. Good afternoon, buddy. Uh, or good morning. Good. Uh, no, it's afternoon over there. It is. Uh, Ari, lads, uh, Serdar isn't good enough. Uh, I'd say he's better than Wood and Gale, but not Wilson. Our upgrade means a new number nine. Um, uh, I know Bill's demands would break our pay structure, but what if uh, he could somehow... Uh, get him down to maybe 200 grand a week. Not sure how flexible he is on that, uh, but would really help with breaking the top six. <sighs> Gareth Bale. Uh, mm, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Jordy Hinney says, afternoon crew, mint content. Keep it up. Thank you, buddy. Uh, Diaby says, Bandar. Uh, Mark says, everyone knows the tuna's got money, so you're going to have to pay a little bit more for our players. And Mark says, morning from New Zealand. Any news on Dan Ashworth? Nothing yet, but it, it looks like it could be happening, uh, if we're openly honest. It, it looks like that could be happening. But again, you know, we just have to wait on these things. You know, it, it's 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 very it's very in and out, you know, the reports that are coming in. Uh if I think if we can get a left back, centre half, winger, uh defensive midfield and striker, we should be easy mid table in the league. I think we're looking a bit bigger than mid table, buddy, to be fair. Um Jimmy Jones, thank you for your £4.49 super chat. Uh, afternoon, all. Uh, with the amount of squad rebuilds happening, possibly the most exciting window ever. Absolutely. Uh, and a £5 super chat from Gary Hannant. Uh, Paul and Alex, do you think ASM will be swapped for Lucas... Uh, uh, no, uh, Lucius Pateka? Sounds like a wizard. Is he, is he meaning Lucas Paqueta? I think he's meaning Paqueta, isn't he? No, I can't see a swap swapped. deal. I, I can't see a swap for that. Definitely not. Um, Dangling Dave says, uh, stuff, uh, stuff paying 200k a week for bail, maybe three seasons ago, but not anymore. I agree with that. I think, uh, you know, you know, he, he's still great with set pieces and what have you, but look, he's not what we need. Uh, at least I don't think he is anyway. Um, but again, time will tell. Uh, Maud Rossi, thank you very much for your Saudi Arabian, uh, uh Real, uh, 10. Rial, thank you very much. Really kind, my friend. Thank you so much. Um, right, who's next on the list? Mm, we've got a big name, Mr. Memphis Mr. Depay. Depay. Mm. Very big name. Um, so, the reason he's on the list is the number 20 million euros has been sort of thrown about. 
Yeah. Uh, secondly, there are rumours that Arsenal are going in for Gabriel Jesus a bit a bit stronger. There's rumours that talks have started. I don't not nothing confirmed from what I can see. Um, which is which is leaving the other targets on their list kind of a bit more open, such as such as this guy. Um, yeah. So there is interest in him. He's expressed a desire to stay in Barcelona. He's he's put out on social media about trying to have a better season with them next year. So mm-hmm. his his immediate plans are not to leave, uh, but it depends on on what they want to do. Obviously, they brought in Aubameyang. Dembele looks like he might possibly stay. Um, we, we'll see. Uh, so he hasn't been getting quite as many minutes. But obviously, there's, there'll be a lot of... I'm sure as soon as this chat starts rolling again, there's a lot of people that remember him from quite a long time ago that are going to say no, 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 no. Well, upon doing the research, he reminds me a lot of how we were talking about how Lingard could fit in with us. Players are 10, left, right, sometimes used as a striker. Doesn't do great if he's isolated and not fed very well, but puts in good performances. He can dribble. He's a very tidy cross to the ball. He's a lot stronger than he was as well. He's very aggressive, wins lots of ground duels. Uh, puts up, you know, 12 goals to assist in 1,800 minutes. is very tidy. Uh, Champions League experience, Europa League experience, high-level international experience um, for the uh, suppo- supposed 20 million euros. Only 28 years old as well. Um, I I think yes, I I I like it as a signing. I really do. I mean, it's it, fair um, to say that he didn't have the greatest of time when he first tried the Premier League, but that was he was young back then, wasn't he? Um, and he's matured a lot since then, and uh, has played for, he's played okay for Barcelona. And like you said, he he said on social media he wants to have a better season with them. Um, but it's whether he would consider you know trying to tackle the Premier League again. That's the big question. Potentially. I, I think he's better physically and he's developed a lot as a player and I think he would be better uh, in our league. Um, you know, a recent game against Mallorca that I've uh, had a look at different games. Um, oh. It's just very, very tidy. Five out of five dri- dribbles, a goal, three key passes, eight out of nine ground duels. He's, he is quite strong. 88 touches. So for somebody as high up as the pitch uh, in the pitch as he normally is, he's, he's quite involved. He tries to get involved a lot, which we, yeah. we want people who are not scared of being on the ball. Um, he tried six crosses as well, three shots. Um, we've had a problem with people not really, you know, admit, uh, ASM's been the only person attempting a lot of crosses. Fraser tries a few crosses. Um, so from attacking players, there's just not as not quite as much variety. And we've discussed recently about we need a few more answers to more questions next season with teams potentially sitting off us a bit more and being um, paying us a bit more respect. Uh, mm-hmm. So I think this guy would, it's very similar to how we would have used Lingard or could use Lingard. Even you never know if that's still on. We never know. Um, and for twenty million euros, considering all of the a lot of the quality we would like that's out on the market is all going for forty, fifty, sixty million. If we could get this guy anywhere for anywhere near twenty million euros, um, I feel like that would be an absolute steal. It's and he's no, not too old no either. It's a no brainer. And he is marginally younger than Lingard as well. So yeah, um, you know, give him a three or four year contract we might be all right on wages because I believe he was in one of the, he was one of the ones who took a wage cut. So we might be able to get away with wages as well because they have tried to sort out their wage structure over in Barca and they have the cap. So it's, it's not completely unrealistic. Again, it's what I mentioned yesterday. There's so many attackers and strikers out there, this window, they're not all going to go. Um, there will be players available. Um, mm-hmm. So if he if he is still there and Barca for whatever reason need a bit of money because of their situation, which is very very possible, mm-hmm. um, it yeah definitely possible. So um, Jason says, would you take uh, Ivan Tony back? No, um, I, I I I wouldn't. Um, Roy says our requirement should be players coming straight into the starting lineup, and the players they replace should fight for their spots back. The likes of Richie Darlow, Hayden, Clark, Gale uh, should move on. Uh, I actually well, agree this would with be that. Depay. He could he could yeah. play on the wings as a ten, even in a false nine. If we've got injuries, he's got flexibility in his game. So yeah, absolutely. Um, is that one gone? Uh, Gary says, uh, does or has Depay had an attitude problem in the past? Good player and well worth the 20, 30 million. Um, 
listen, I, I don't know about an attitude problem. I do know that he struggled. He certainly struggled at Manchester United. Um, but listen, you're coming in there as a young kid, a lot on your shoulders. Um, I don't really, I don't think anything of that. You know, he, he then went, did he go to Lyon? And yeah, played very was, well for right Lyon. And then he's, he's, gone been, to Barcelona. he's been humbled a lot in Barca because mm. Barca fell apart, didn't they, with their league position, with their managerial situation, the yep. money. I mean, look, uh, we're talking leaving. 20, 30 million here. This is a, for me, a bargain, um, an absolute bargain. Um, so, you know, we, we, we just have to, again, you know, it, it, it's how we sell it to the player himself. You know, we, we have to sell it in a good way. Um, and hopefully we will. Um, Wayne says, uh, afternoon, everyone. Depay is a no from me. Uh, I don't feel like he coped with the Premier League previously. Uh, does Stato have a social life? Because he knows his players. You know, he does a lot of research. Uh, that's why he's so bloody good on this channel. Uh, Mark says, uh, afternoon, chaps. I'm sick of other channels constantly whining uh, about the team. Seriously, either they're not real fans or they're short of content. Um, I'm not sure who you're talking about there, but um, I'm not sure why they'd be whinging. Uh, I, I don't understand that. Um, Newcastle are going to win the league next year. Uh, oh my God, 20 million for this guy. Uh, yes, it, 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 Depay is not good enough for Barca. Interesting thoughts. Interesting thoughts. Uh, Tammy Abraham and Justin Clivert would be fantastic. Now, Justin Clivert's been mentioned before. Tammy Abraham, um, I think has had a good season for Roma, hasn't he? Um, but he's not he's had a very good season for Roma. Yeah, but I don't think he'll leave Roma. I think he's happy there. Uh and uh, credit to him, you know, he's done very well. But um he's not for me one that's been mentioned. Um next but well there he is. I mean I've, Alex well, I just typed him in. He's yeah, not yeah. on the list. I've just typed him in for you know he's underperformed his XG as well. He should have scored three more goals, possibly four. Um yeah, he is a very good player. Oh, and just for the people complaining about Mourinho, yeah, he did win the Conference League, so he's uh, he's still capable. Uh, okay, so our next player is this interesting gentleman, Rabio, who, yeah, this this is a throwback to a few transfer windows ago, uh, for when he was an absolute monster at PSG, and the entire universe wanted his signature. Mm. And there was a whole fiasco about his mother is his agent and he's really annoying to deal with and just burst into boardrooms, throwing just just being really weird. Um, so there's a bit of weird stories around this this gentleman, but his his talent is um, I mean, if well, I won't scroll onto stats yet, but uh, 2200 minutes, he's been integral for Juventus. So he left PSG a few seasons ago to go to Juventus uh, on a free transfer. Um, he's in his peak right now as a midfielder. Seems to have settled down a bit in terms of silly articles and just playing playing football, which is nice. Uh, yeah. Six foot two, so he's not he's not small. Not not much in the term in terms of output here, but it's not really his job. In the same way that Bruno's output wasn't particularly high when we originally looked at it and what mm -hmm. he was doing at Leon because they had a lot more quality going forward and his job was to just release that quality. Whereas for us. There hasn't been quite as much in front of him and he's been arriving in the box and he's got a different role with us. Um, so, Rabio, if we actually have a look at the stats, uh, the best way I can describe this lad is a shuttler, water carrier. So it's basically, if Rabio has ball, ball go forward. Ball always yeah. go forward. Progressive carries, uh, touches in the attack and penalty area, progressive passes, uh, and then his involvement and energy which we do which we really really appreciate um Absolutely. at the tune and, and eddie house style of play 22 pressures per 90 tackles interceptions he's putting in the work defensively he's a dog he works hard and he's got that quality the ball's constantly going forward um and he but he has got stats versus wingers as well because he does float out wide on occasion when needed and oh well versus versus wingers that's pretty bonkers um and that's what Eddie Howe wants, isn't he? Uh, you know, somebody that gets the ball and, and goes forward, you know, because we as fans, we've seen enough of the rugby style football, haven't we? Where you, you know, you have to pass back to go forward. Uh, so it'd be nice to have some players in there who who will get the ball and move it forward. Yeah, this this would be perfect. It really would. I, I would absolutely 100% love this signing. Um, I'm yeah. not sure we'd get him. I don't know how 
all of the whole agent thing and i don't know i haven't heard much about that in recent years it was just no, funny I haven't. The, it was funny at the time um yeah. but this guy was literally one of the the best things in the world a couple of years ago and it's it's not Juventus have been a bit funny in recent years, um, but mm. as we've talked about in previous shows, they hoard so much talent. And it's the case with Juventus is they've got so many incredible players, but they have to move them on because it just doesn't work for whatever reason. Because they've got so many players that don't fit systems, don't fit managers. They've you know, uh, Allegri's come back in. Um, I would absolutely love him. I'm unsure as to how much he would cost. Mm. Um, I did I. I Surprised I didn't write that down. Uh, I might have it somewhere here. Where was the Rabio stuff? Uh, yes, bear with me. While you're looking for that, Alex, we just got a uh, 20 uh, Danish kroner coming from Samsonite Dave, and he says the pie took a wage cut to 158 grand a week. <laughs> A wage cut too that much, yeah. Wow. Uh, and uh, Andy Smith, um, thank you for becoming a member of the Tune Review. Um, again, I'm not sure if that's a renewal or brand new, but welcome anyway. And thank you for becoming a member. Yeah, I can't find the Rabio stuff, but it's um, it wouldn't it would be, be crazy. A, listen, it would be a tremendous, uh, it would be a tremendous sign in any way. Uh, H says, uh, best Newcastle channel. Keep up the great work. Thanks, buddy. Uh, Abigail says, uh, I've missed the afternoon shows. So far, so far. Uh, it's nice to do them in the afternoon as well. Uh, as many as possible, really. Um, why can't Newcastle sign Messi for 500 million? Uh, well, it's just un. It, it, it's 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 all right having the money and being the richest club, but you have to. Uh, you know, there's a lot of obstacles in the way uh, when it comes to just splashing the money. He, out. he just said we were going to win the league, so why do we need to sign Messi if we're going to win exactly. the league? Absolutely. Um, Ricky said, avoid overrated British players like the ones at Manua and other clubs. To be fair, uh, I ain't spamming shit. Get that English crest out of your badge. I don't know who he's talking about there. Um, Seattle Jordy says, I know this is daft, but if a player like, say, De Bruyne wanted to come, uh, but is on 350 grand a week, uh, would we or you pull the trigger? Uh, talking of Arsenal, aren't we challenging them next season? Um, look, De, De Bruyne, somebody like De Bruyne um, is on 350 grand a week. I think, I don't think that's within what we're wanting to pay in our wage structure at the minute. I really don't. Um, and I think that's for further down the line. Maybe when we're playing regular Champions League football, we're regularly competing for things. At the minute, you know, that is that is way out, uh, if I'm being honest with you. Um, XFC Florida, thank you for your $5 super chat. Uh, do not need too much hashtag Frenchness in the team. Uh, we've been there, done that, haven't we? Um, you know, Latoon, when we were used to be known as uh, under par under the days of Pardew. Uh, Nigel says, uh, Gianluca uh, Scamaccia is 27 million euros, 23-year-old Italian available on the loan or to buy. I mean, we we, we looked at him like two or three shows yep. ago. He, he's, been, he's, he's on the list. He's been looked at. If if it re-emerges as a, as a stronger possibility, we'll pop him in another show and we'll, you know, have another look. Uh, definitely, he's he's a good option. Uh, Tomo says, Rabi always told the crap at UV, uh, same as the mega flop Arthur. Uh, dudes, do you watch any UV games? Um, not I've really. Seen a few this season, and I, I, I thought Rabi would he, he done all right. But if if, if you I say so, one. that's fine. Um, I mean, I'm 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 going based on based on stats here, which I know a lot of people out there don't necessarily like. Um, but this this profile is over the course of 365 days. Um, for Rabio, so if we if we have a look, uh, yeah, last 365 days. So the stats are pretty pretty spot on for how he performs on the pitch. Um, it doesn't tell you everything, obviously. It doesn't necessarily tell you about stropping, positioning. Um, there are things that the stats won't show. Um, so if if he does bits of that, fair enough. Maybe you're right. Uh, I'm just going on based on what, what I can see he produces as a player. And it seems like it fits very well with what we we need. Um, so, yeah, I, yeah, maybe I should go and watch some more Juventus. <laughs> That's us told. Um, Keith says uh, Bamford for Newcastle, not for me. Uh, he's not uh, he's not prolific enough for, for what we'd be looking for. And 
you know, he's 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 got a problem with injuries, a lot of problems with injuries. Um, Bamford's never been a, a, a prolific scorer in his career. Uh, so n- not for me. Uh, disappointed to see uh, Schick signing a new contract with Bayer. Uh, really wanted him. Yeah, he's off the market now. Um, well, that might be to bump his price up for this summer or next summer. You never know. Possibly, yeah. Uh, well, the the good, the good at that, aren't they? Um, Abigail says I don't want Messi. Uh, I have a feeling if uh, if we can get a start, we will pay that. But that's just my opinion. Uh, please, Newcastle somehow uh, f shit up this season and get top six. Well, we're going to try. We're going to try. Man United have just announced a net debt of five hundred million pounds. I'm sure Danielle is delighted to hear that news coming from Old Trafford. Um, afternoon, Team Review team. Uh, been watching the channel for a while now. Thought it was about time to become a member. Loving the content. Cheers, Andy. Uh, Keith says, Pookie for Newcastle. He's been mentioned before, hasn't he? Yeah, I like him. Um, if, if we didn't have the takeover, yeah, I'd take Pookie. But now we're going in a different direction. Um you know, watching him against us, he, he is annoying. He's on the shoulder. He's a poacher. He's got quality. He does score goals. But again, he's very much a slightly better Dwight Gale, isn't he? So, you know, everybody bangs on and, and training about how Dwight Gale is a brilliant finisher and he's very good. But he doesn't play minutes. Um, and I don't think Pookie would play minutes for us either. It's just not where we're going. Um, sorry, oh, sorry, Mr. Pookie. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have to break the wage structure eventually, whether we like it or not. It's just a matter of when. I agree, but I think, I think that the thing is, like I said before, I think it's going to be when we are sort of challenging on a regular basis uh, in Europe on a regular basis, um, and, and until then, nothing is really going to change. Uh, I think they will pay more wages for players, but certainly not, um, you know, not. Well, not we're anything. in a good position now with Bruno and Trippier's wages, so we've got a. Uh, La Liga winning right back international on a good wage and we've got Bruno on a good wage so any midfielders or fullbacks we bring in we can say ah but they're on it so um, I think it will be strikers if we bring in somebody who does who's got a crazy proven record then that justifies a a wage structure break like it depends on the context absolutely Uh, Angel Correa may be available with Madrid having too many wingers and forwards uh, Wayne says uh, Nicolò Zanolo, uh, left wing, right wing, centre forward, only 22 years old. Uh, and you, you mean the one who scored minutes. last night and said he's going to stay? That yes, one. That's him. <laughs> that's him. Probably yeah. not. No. Yeah. Uh, are NUFC fans interested in Saudi players? Listen, I think that's a, a long term goal um, for the new owners. I think they want to, you know, we, we, we could eventually sort of get some Saudi players into the academy and things like that. And, uh, I'm sure they're, they're looking at that option. Um, and it'll be interesting to see uh, if they can make their way up the ladder. Uh, you know, why not? Why not give them a chance? If they're good enough, then, you know, they'll, they'll succeed. Uh, Paul, I was shocked that someone said that we um, that we don't want Messi. I want Messi, says Abigail. Um, listen, I think if Messi came to the club, I don't think anybody would complain. I, I just, you know... <laughs> I just don't see that happening um, because of the the wages he commands, the 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 absolute, um, well, the entourage that goes with him as well. I mean, have it's, you seen the bookies have put us fifty to one for the league next year? Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, they're, they're, they are. It's, they've put that because they're scared. I mean, it's it's outrageously unlikely we'd have to match like ninety odd point seasons, which is not going to happen. But it's funny Look, that they they made a, they made an error when. Yeah, well, it's Leicester City. That, that, that it's it. You know, they are very wary of doing the, that again, simply pundits, because of what happened at Leicester. You know, the pundits and managers say say one thing, but mm. the the key thing to look at is what the the gambling company needs to put in their odds on, because that is yeah. how they really feel about the potential of placings and signings. Um, it doesn't just ignore the pundits. See what the bookie makers are saying, because they don't want to lose their money. So, yeah. Uh, right. Who's next on the list? Uh, we have. Armando Broja. Yes. So we've had a, a brief look at him before for a bit of fun, whereas now it's uh, more a bit more serious. Oh. Um, Rumours that he might be available in the summer for £25 million. There are other, other clubs interested. It's, it's still a very 
there's a lot of things would have to happen for us to to go for him and to get him. Um, but that there, there is chatter of him being available, um, mm-hmm. which we weren't we weren't sure of a few months ago when we talked talked about him. Um, so I thought he was excellent he's had a good last season. year. So I thought he was excellent. The games I saw him playing, very very, uh, he, he gives defenders hell uh, all the time. He's got great skill <laughs> um, and yeah. a very very good striker. Yeah, so a lot of what he does, to a degree, isn't even shown in the stats because they show pressures and successful pressures and stuff. But he is a mm-hmm. he's a nuisance um, for yeah. somebody that is six foot three as well. Puts himself about. He's played two thousand minutes in in the Premier League, which is which is good. It's a good litmus test there. Six goals should have potentially had seven and an assist. Um, still very very young, at just about to turn twenty one years old. Uh, right footed, and if we scroll down. Uh, very much a, I'm going to sort of run the ball 10 yards, be super, super in your face all the time and put a mm-hmm. bit of flair on it. That's basically what this suggests. Dribbles and progressive carries. Um, and it, and Southampton, again, Southampton and Brighton are teams we can potentially look at poaching from if they're willing to let people go because um, mm-hmm. they play good football. Um, Southampton do implode on occasion. Um, and they have they dropped off a lot this season, but they do play in a in a you know they they play in the old sort of Red Bull way. They've got the manager for it, so you, mm-hmm. that is reflected in the statistics of a lot of their players. Um, and he's just very tidy. His aerial aerial jewels one is very good as well. It, it does it does concern me that we're not going to go for this kind of player though purely because we've got Chris Wood on the books. Um, we, a lot of these players, I think Nunez is 6'2", isn't he? He's pretty tall. So a lot of these players that we're looking at are 6'2", six, 6'3", six, six, in terms of strikers. And there's a few a lot taller than that as well that we've looked at. Um, so if we do bring in a quality striker that also just happens to be better at doing big man things than Chris Wood, then Chris Wood is just never going to get any minutes. Like He's going to get zero minutes because the rotation is going to be Callum Wilson or the new striker oh, or a youngster. Lord. So he's just not going to, he's never going to see the pitch. Mm. Um, so I don't know if we're going to go down this road. Uh, it's it's very interesting. He, he can do what we like in terms of our system. Yep. Very young, very moldable, lots of flair, possibly with, with, with his talent on the ball and his flair. Uh, might be some really funky little connections with ASM and Bruno and little reverse passes and funny balls. And it, it might be, could be fun to watch. 25 million. If he's available for that, if Chelsea, if Chelsea, if Chelsea will let us buy him for 25, I'd hundred percent go for it. I, mm-hmm. I, I'm a bit skeptical as to whether we, whether we'd get that for 25 though. That seems a bit, it, the numbers out there, but I, I'm not so sure how, how much I believe that that seems quite low. Um, Considering how they've been stung in the past with Salah and De Bruyne, they they let players go and they become very good, and they are they will be aware of that. Um, so they might be concerned about because they've got quite a bloated squad right now. Uh, I know they're having some defensive issues with contracts expiring, but mm-hmm. further forward they're a bit stacked. So we'll see we'll see what happens with Chelsea in the summer. A lot depends on the new ownership as well and what what direction they're going to go in. Uh- Mark Redmond has said, uh, unfortunately, Callum is an ambulance. Uh, we'll see more of Wood than people think. I don't think so, Mark. Um, I really don't. Uh, look, he, he came in to do a job for the back end of the season. I, I can't see him being involved very much moving forward. Uh, I don't think he's good enough. Uh, people know my feelings on Chris Wood. Um, I think a lot of Newcastle fans feel exactly the same about Chris Wood, to be honest, uh, that he just isn't good enough. Um any goalkeepers on your list, Stato? Well, we're going to do a, a separate goalkeeper one anyway, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, Chelsea haven't left players uh, leave on the cheap for a while now. Yeah. Um, that That is true. Uh, and, and Chelsea... They need to sort out their Lukaku 100 mil stuff as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. That 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 is uh, a lot of money spent on... So far, what has been a failure for Chelsea? You know, Lukaku... Uh, you know, banging them in for Inter Milan. He comes to Chelsea second time around and uh, started off well for me, but a lot's happened between the start of the season and the end of the season for for, for Chelsea as a whole. But for Lukaku, uh, it just hasn't happened. Um, so, uh, Gary, thank you for another £5 super chat. Uh, Alex, how about a striker? Karim Benzema. 
I don't think don't so. Don't make jokes when I'm trying to drink water. <laughs> Obviously not. Um, I mean, okay, if we want to entertain the idea, I have said before, if there are people who have won everything, they might entertain us as a project. Yeah, yeah. So you absolutely never know, but no, probably not. Mm. We shall see. Um Abigail says, I can't get my head around FFP. I'm sure Paul said it doesn't affect us because of the Ashley era spend. Uh, well, it doesn't. It, it, it doesn't affect us that way, but we still have to be careful of it. Um, you know, it, it's always there. Now, there has been many people talking about um, changes to FFP in the very near future and how it works and how it's dealt with. Um, you know, it, it confuses me to death. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sick of hearing about FFP now and I'd just rather get on with it. Um, but, you know, the, the, obviously the club will be very aware of FFP and what they can and can't do. So uh, we as fans, we just have to wait and see what happens with that. Uh, I, I don't think it affects us as much as it does other clubs at the minute because we spent nothing. Um, but time will tell. Uh it doesn't, but we have to be careful. Uh, we can't spend silly amounts of money straight away. Uh, Indica from Frankfurt is good. Olmo and Leimar from RB Leipzig are top class. Same as on Cuckoo. Uh, yeah, and we've looked at all of those. A few times. Yeah, we have. Uh, Ricky said, uh, Woods missed chances were beyond shock, and some of them, especially the one against City. Uh, Costage from Frankfurt could also be decent. Uh, signing Chris Wood for £25 million will affect our FFP. Uh, FFP is crap. So many clubs breach it. I think that's why they want to change it. To be fair, is because there is ways around it, and clubs have worked that out. Um, you know, many people have said over the over the years that Man City have worked that out to their benefit and the way they've done things and bonuses and things like that uh, to get around FFP. Uh, now, if there is ways around it for us, I'm sure that the uh, the powers that be will know that, which I think is why the. Uh, the top brass are looking at changing the rules on the FFP. Uh, Darren says uh, FFP, and then you look at Everton broken the rules and Premier League scared to punish them. Nothing's come of that yet, has it? So we still have to wait and see. Freiburg's uh, central defender Schlotterbach is top class. Bayern wants him too. Well, he's actually already uh, off the market. He's already gone. He's gone. Uh, so uh, he is now off the yeah, market. Saint, he's gone Saint Just he's got... as well as gone. Yeah. Uh, um, Ginter well, and Schlotterbeck's gone to Dortmund, that. so as Andrew's just confirmed there as well, um, he's signed for Dortmund, so he's off I think the market Ad- now. Adia Shile is the only one that was in that mix of our interest who hasn't gone yeah, yet. Yeah, he was, so. yeah, yeah. Uh, right, next on the list, Ivan Perisic. Yeah, so this wasn't originally on the list, but it's cropped up today because um, he, he's on a free. We had a, a vague look at him in January and his stats were declining. Uh, and they have since picked up a lot. He does look a lot better. He's obviously had a, a better season than compared to when I last looked at him. So 35 appearances in Serie A this season at nearly 3,000 minutes. So for his age and for the concerns people were talking about in January, um, 33 years old and he's played, what, 2,300 minutes across Serie A in the Champions League. That's not bad. Um, eight goals, six assists as well. He's old. It'd be. I, I. I'm not sure what kind of contract we'd be throwing at that. Maybe. Maybe two years. He'd probably want three. Ooh, it's a tricky one, but he is a very good player. Well, um, Tomo says there, Perisic is a machine. Thirty-three years old, but still top class. Uh, but Chelsea and Juve want him too. Um, fair enough. I mean, if if. I mean, that's a win-win for us because if Chelsea go in for somebody like Perisic, then what are they going to do for minutes for Brozier and hudson Adoy and other players? Um, mm. This is why I keep saying don't panic everybody because people will be available that we will like because uh, it's a merry-go-round. People have got to go somewhere. And these clubs yeah. have been hoarding so much talent. There's a lot of really good players just not playing um, and mm. we can have them. So it really doesn't matter. Um, but if, if we entertain the idea that we could get him... Um, Again, touches in the attacking penalty area, progressive passes, again, ball forward, ball forward, ball forward, get the ball forward, put it in the net as much as possible. Um, His output is very good in terms of shots and creations and assists. Uh, This obviously is what you would expect from a 33-year-old is 12 pressures per 90. Um, 
you know that's that's awfully low that's very very low um but he's it's not too bad to be fair the um it, it could be a lot worse this is all right for his age is all right i was expecting it to be a lot worse so he could do a job uh, my concern is the contract length he would ask for and the wages he would ask for because um, they do pay a lot in Serie A. So, again, would he take 120-ish and would he be okay with a one or a two-year contract? I mean, if he wants mm. three, absolutely not. I don't want him on our books at 36 years old. Um, absolutely not. Because I'm, he's been incredible this season. But there were, there has been times in the last eighteen months where, he, where we thought, oh, okay, this is the decline of Perisic, and then he's pulled it back and he's been really, really good again. So it's going to happen at some point, and he's not Ronaldo. So um, I take two, him. Two year contract, right contract would be spot on. Yeah, I, I think two years would be fine. Uh, Kevin says I watched Loaded Mag's last video, and they talked a lot about FFP. Yeah. Uh, by the way, guys, you can catch. Uh, moi on uh, Loaded Mag NUFC tonight at 8 o'clock on their channel. Uh, it is going to be another cracking show with those guys, uh, I'm sure. A really good laugh. So uh, if you want another good laugh tonight at 8 o'clock, uh, Loaded Mag NUFC uh, on YouTube. Uh, come and join me and the lads on there tonight. Uh, and the uh, link is down in the description if you want to go and drop a subscription to them um, as we are in uh, collaboration with them and uh, looking forward to uh, another show with them tonight. Uh, Abigail says, changes to FFP will be designed to undermine Premier League in favour of less popular leagues like La Liga. Uh, weird that Madrid complain they can't get a French player from a French club. Uh, Corne or Dennis? Uh, we spoke about Corny, haven't we? And we looked at Dennis a few weeks ago. Um, I mean, there's probably a show in there, isn't there, about looking at the relegated teams and what could be poached. Um, yeah. But yeah, they are reasonable Certainly shots. Burnley will be looking to offload some of their stars because of this financial situation that they find themselves in. Uh, they have no option but to do that. Um, new name linked to us, Rheem Defender. Wow. Yeah, we've seen that. Uh, he's he, uh, Mr. got to rewind to the start of the stream. Yeah, start of the stream, PDK. Uh, he was mentioned. Uh, Wout Fees or Fares or Fars, uh, whatever Fars, his name is. Fars. Um, Andrew says, Mackham's looking to make a marquee signing for the championship. South Korean international. <laughs> Fucking no one. Yeah, that's a great one that's gone around many times. Um, uh, I have a couple of names for Stato to look at for another show. Uh, Saliba, Rome, Bremer. Uh, Cancare, Muriel, and Ianacho. We've looked at Ianacho before, I'm sure we have. Uh, big right hands has Bastos, anyone? <laughs> yeah, he keeps cropping up, doesn't he? Talking to Real Madrid four weeks to go, and they save themselves 600k once they release Bale at the end of June. He's a massive wage to come off there. That's a, that's a certainty. Uh, any idea uh, why we are not going for uh, Mary Demaro from Atlanta as a centre back? I mean, we want we wanted him for a couple of years, even pre takeover, just didn't materialise. Um, maybe, maybe. I, uh, I'm still on is... Grilich. Grilich is still available as the the DM from Hoffenheim, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, I, I really he's, want he's Grilich. A, he's a beast. Yeah. Uh, on the train about top talents, if we ever signed Son, I would probably cry. Would never happen, but I can dream. Says V. Of course you can. Uh, right. Do you have any honourable mentions, Alex? Um, well, it's not been planned for, but we have got Carrasco's name is floating about at the moment. Um, people have mentioned Madrid have got a lot, uh, Atletico Madrid have got a lot to offload potentially. Um, could be, could be Carrasco, uh, but I, I don't know because he's come back and he committed his future to Simeone. So, and this was recently that he's done that. So I, I would be surprised if he goes. Unless we meet the release clause, um, which that you know that was the sixty million release clause that was floated about in January, um, and I I wouldn't see us getting him and Loddy. Um, it's it's another one of those funny ones. Again, he's about to hit twenty nine years old. He is an incredible player, um, but we, <sighs> yeah. There's a there's a lot of these floating around that are between twenty eight and thirty one years old who can play left wing, right wing. You do the business in Italy, Spain, France. Yeah. Is it the direction we want to go in? Do we want to go younger? Do we want to go system oriented? Or are we going to go down? We're buying people's friends because of agents. 
I'm not sure. Amazing player. Six goals, six assists, and 2,500 minutes is, in La Liga is, is outrageous. Champions League experience. Um, you know, I don't know why he just... Because he was the one who disappeared to China, wasn't he? I'm pretty sure. Uh, but he came back and is now playing good football. Um, mm. So, again, as I've said multiple times today, ball goes that way all the time. Progressive passes... Uh, touches in the attacking penalty area, dribbles and progressive carries. He just wants the ball up near the goal. When he gets the ball, go forward. Um, considering the way they play, this is going to be lower by default because they soak up pressure. The younger ones do the pressing. They hold shape. Well, it's minimal pressing with holding shape. They have the wing backs. Um, yeah. So th- this is his stats as a fullback, by the way. So this might be a bit we wouldn't necessarily use him as a wing back. We don't play that way. So let me. So ignore what you've seen here. And if I click on him as an attacking midfielder versus winger, this is more likely where we would play him and how he shapes up versus players who are midfielders and wingers. Still mm. very, very good. Um, but there's a lot out there that's similar. Um, it's difficult to know. It really is. It really is tough to know. Uh, and. Preference wise, he does tend to play on the left side. Um, well, in recent games, he's played on the left, but he's more than capable of playing on the right. Hmm. For once, I'm lost for words yeah. a little bit. It's it's yeah. there's a lot a lot of the same out there, and it's it's purely gonna there's, it's gonna depend on who of them is interested in the project, will accept the wage structure. Mm-hmm. Um, well, those are the two most important things. Are they interested in the project and will they accept the contract and wage structure? Because those are the yep. key factors. Um, there's a lot out there that are very good, but we'll just have to wait and see. Hmm. Fair enough. Uh, well, there you go, guys. That is the transfer show for today. Uh, we hope you've really enjoyed it. Uh, it's the first of probably many that we're going to do uh, during the day, uh, whether it just be me or uh, Alex comes on or Billy or whoever it may be. Um, to talk about any potential signings. Make sure you've got the notification bell ticked so that uh, if we do go live with any uh, breaking news or anything, uh, you'll be uh, notified straight away. So uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do hit that subscribe button as well. Uh, Thank you uh, to everybody that has uh, super chatted this afternoon. Very, very kind of you. Uh, Don't forget, you can catch me back tonight at 8 p.m. over on the Loaded Mag NUFC channel. Uh, The description is down below. Sorry, the link is down below in the description. Um, Starts at 8 o'clock, a really, really good laugh. Uh, And then tomorrow night, uh, of course, we have uh, this one, which is the Tune Review Awards uh, for the 21-22 season. That is going to be a a fantastic show. We've got Ben coming on as well, um, who joined us for the Takeover shows. We're going to have a really good laugh tomorrow night. Uh, Some good awards some daft ones some crazy ones uh it's gonna be a laugh so join us at eight o'clock spend your friday night having a good laugh with us uh but in the meantime guys thank you so much for watching and uh remember if anything crops up we'll let you know straight away if i'd be uh, uh whether it be recorded or live but in the meantime enjoy the rest of your day folks stay kind take care